Well, ladies and gentlemen, uh, we are here inside of a PvP town basement, and what is going to be occurring today is a last man standing event. Our host, Bambino Ludovic, is currently offline. His internet service provider is struggling. There is only one rule. Once you die, you're out. Last man standing wins. And there's no PvP flag needed since this is a PvP arena basement. It is already enabled. So this should be interesting since we don't have a bunch of level 70s. Now, Lazarus, I'd make a prediction that whoever can actually get a five stack of uh, Earthquake up and fired or even a five stack of death field will probably be the person that's winning. Yeah, anybody who can get a stack of anything is going to be above everybody else here. My game capture window is not happening here. Now, Soul is asking that people don't team up, but you know what? The only rule is, once you're dead, you're out, so it shouldn't be a big deal. They're asking everybody to take their places by spreading out. Before they begin, Let's see, do you have any personal favorites at this point right now? No, I do not. I'm finding it very hard to see who's down there, to tell you the truth. But I'm going to guess all the magic about yeah. to happen down there. Um, we're going to see this place light up here in a minute. We are covering the last man standing here. It's one rule and one rule only. The last man remaining in the ring wins. Now we do have a couple people in some heavy this. armor, so they might be doing melee. Everybody else is probably going to be doing a mix of fire magic and death magic. Now, of course, I'm looking at the competitors we have here in the room, and of course, you know our buddy Abydos has got to be the guy I root for. I, I'm personally going for it. Although Parallelogram, Parallel Now is the new name, is uh, pretty much a favored fighter in most of these combat uh, scenarios. Plus, it's really 17 brand new. Yeah. We don't know how these guys have stacked themselves up in the last couple of days. So this should be interesting to see. Yes, and don't forget Distrafa and Hookliner. Those two are also some notable PvP guys. I did not see Hookliner in this mix down there. I must have missed him. I see somebody's got a Phoenix out there ready to fight, so let's yep. see how that comes into play. This should be quite the interesting event here. Now, if you're just joining us, we are live on nbnn.info, as well as on Twitch TV slash Cinesist and... Twitch.tv slash NBNN News. Thank you. And we're on. Yes, we are. Game has started. I think the smart move is actually to run inside one of those doors and shut the door. <laughs> that would be funny. That would be real funny. Yes. I, I so far, I don't we don't have anybody down sure. yet. Now, because we are in a PvP area, I have been flagged. We are both flagged, and we are both open season. Hopefully no one decides to kill us. Uh-oh. 
Charrock might be the first casualty. And I don't know, I'm having some technical difficulties here. I am not capturing this. Yeah, Hookliner is out. Woodrow Beefcakes is still standing, so is Destrafa. And Tari's standing still. I don't know how Charak lived. Ooh, Rixus is going with the strategy of standing in the corner and hopefully no one notices him. And it looks like Destrafa is going to be out as well now. Now, Silverglade actually did come all the way up to the top, and he's actually... I have actually... lost my feed. Uh-oh. Glad to have you capturing it. Yeah, we do have Silverglade, who's... or Silverglade, who came to the top and is actually wounding people from outside. Um, I don't know whether or not Soul is going to say that's within the group. Oh, but we do have... Silverglade did attack me, hopefully, uh realize that I'm just covering the event and I'm not a participant. Alrighty, well it looks like this event might just be over before I get this yeah. feedback up, well, so I'm going to drop real quick and get this problem fixed. I will be right back. Okay, we'll look forward to seeing you soon. Uh, Soul is actually also running around the top. Um, then we have inside the arena, Hedbert. We have Singus, Rixus, Charak couple other players still alive. Still alive, and so is Hedbert and Charak. I don't know whether or not Soul is in the game or not, or if he's up here dead, like along with everybody else. And one member of Packlayer, Sing, is still running around. So it looks like the final two participants are going to be Sing from Paxlayer and as well as Hedbert. Okay, I'm not going to really try to do a no, play by play on back. this. So Hedbert and Parallelogram or Parallel are the last two survivors. Or Silverblade is still casting spells as well. Yeah, really difficult to see down there, but who do we have? Well, we've got parallel still standing. We have two guys left down there. Yeah. Azul. I can't see inside of any of the doors. And parallel's the winner.
Oh, I see. They're all up here now. Yes, everybody came up to the top. So, so oh, there are two more guys running around down there, apparently. Nah. I see parallel down there. That soul didn't die either. But who is he fighting? Herbert. Now, technically, because we're here and we didn't die, do we qualify for a win? <laughs> I, I think we're easy kills for any one of these guys. <laughs> So I think that for this this first last man standing, Parallel is victorious. I did not mean to parkour to where I am right now, but I am here, and this is a really great view. Um, no longer on the railing. I am on the opposite side of the railing, on the ledge. Actually, inside the railing. Okay, it looks, appears that they're actually going to do another round. They're letting people uh, get rid of their death and heal up. Well, I think uh, they probably do a couple rounds here just for the fun of it for them. And so, I guess, is she, uh, she not participating? She is a non-com. Well, I think Charak uh, zoned out and zoned back in, so... Although he's got two kills and no deaths. Do you see Charak around? Yeah, what is the key for that? Is that the zero key? Yes, yes it is. Yes, it is. So Torm has got three kills. Charak with two. Silver Glade with one. And Woodrow Beefcakes with one. Ooh, I see someone actually used stealth and actually ran into the room to where they can hide. I like that tactic. A couple people are running up top. We have a couple participants fighting up top this time as well. Looks like Hookliner hasn't learned right doubts yet. Right behind me up here. I did not realize they were going to have the whole room for use here. Oh yeah. Oh, turn just fell. Woodrow has fallen. I'm glad I'm on the other side of the railing. Yep, yeah, it looks like Abydos and Headbird are picking on Hookliner together. Uh, it's hard to really make anything out in this room. The lighting is relatively poor in here. Yeah, I don't think they're really planned for that. Need a few chandeliers from the roof. Light it up a little bit better. Uh, I say just put a big birthday cake right in the middle of the room. That should light it up. Yeah. And Parallel did come out of hiding finally. Abydos and Hook. Uh, Abydos is down. Hook liner still up. And there he goes. So we end up with Parallel. 
That silver glade is hanging out on top again. He did win his battle up top. He did jump down. So the last two fighters we have are silver glade and parallel. Yeah, silver glade there. He uh, jumped right from the railing up here down into the fray for this final yes. pace off. He was one of the first ones to run all the way up top. So he is trying to hide in these stairs, whereas uh, someone else is playing around with being invisible. I can hear them, but I cannot see them. They must be in the room underneath me. There they are. Yes, yes it is. Silverblade just died, so our winner is Parallel. And Parallel looks like the last man standing on this round. Turin still has the most kills, though. So having the most kills doesn't really mean you are the better fighter here at this point in time. Now remember, we could actually argue that we are actually the winners because we have yet to die. Now that is funny. We we declare a tie, Cynicist and Lazarus. <laughs> yes, I winners. Yep. <laughs> Let's not give the combatants any ideas. No, no. We don't want them to turn around and kill us all just for I, their I, I I have Chirac sitting here right next to me. Yes, I was almost taken out during the first round, but I did have to get a few heals off. And while the combatants regather their senses here, I'm going to step away for just a moment. I will be right back. Okay. I will keep the cameras on the ring in case anything happens. Troy, I didn't know how to who to zone to for that welcome quest, or else I would have gone to it. it. Appears we're gonna do one more round. wonder if uh, Parallel is going to stealth and go hide in that room again. Okay, let's see. Parallel standing in the corner. Uh, let's see. Yeah, a couple people went into the small room fighting. Hardly anybody's fighting in the main arena. They're mostly trying to hide where I cannot see them. And if I jump down there and get into that little room, I will be free game and I'll probably end up dying quickly. So most of that action is going to take place off screen. Don't have a good view for any of the action right now. Yeah. 
parallel somehow stealth all the way up top and then jumped into the game early this time. Parallel and uh, Turin are going after Gastrafa. I guess Parallel changed teams and actually decided to go after Turin, who had less health. Is that better? I just muted myself and unmuted myself. Seems to have fixed my audio problem. My microphone being a little low. But we still have people running around. A mix of death magic and fire. As I predicted, I haven't seen as many people gusting as other fights. I think we're waiting on people to get some levels first. And I haven't seen a single earthquake yet. I would have I would have stacked my way to earthquake in this fight. That oh, looks like Abydos is about to fall down. Oh, he got a last second heal in there. Parallel and Distraffer are fighting in a room outside of my view, so we will end up having to wait for someone to die. I do not see where they are, but they are running around probably right underneath me here. They have actually just come out of the stairs and are actually on top right now. I see them, I see them. They're right here, running by me. That silver glade is still alive as well. And parallels coming out finally again. Now, Troy was asking a question in chat whether or not if you do not have all the ingredients for a spell, are you still able to cast it? And the answer is yes, but the fizzle chance is tremendously increased. So if you only have a few of the in ingredients, you actually, it will decrease the fizzle rate based off of no ingredients. In the uh, focus tree, there's actually skills that will decrease your fizzle chance. It's on the far left hand of the uh, focus tree. And I just like to say hello to Troy. I've seen him in the channels. Now we've got three people remaining. We have Parallel, Silverglade, and Distrafa. Right now, Distraff has the least amount of health, where Parallel and Silverglade have the most, although one heal brought Distraff almost all the way up to full. 
and Silverglade is actually sitting there and not participating as much as the other guys, so he's probably just building his combos and waiting for other people to run out of mana. That is, uh, yeah, he was he was loading something up. You can see that he oh, finally yeah. launched something. And Parallel and uh, Silverglade have actually tried to run away from the beginning parts of those fights, and uh, Parallel was running up to the top in order to hide, and uh, Parallel was actually using the stealth features that are in the game to hide. And we had a uh, friend Woodrow from the BMC going, oh, is Lazarus here? And I just chimed in over on that chat. Let him know that we are both here covering it. And he okay. says, in quote, nice. <laughs> okay, so Turin said that most of the guys out here are actually all the way in their low 50s right now. So they have done an incredible amount of leveling so far in the game. If you notice, someone's hiding in the small room. That is Distrafa. going to try to be the uh, cleanup crew. While him and Par well, Silverglade and Parallel continue to go at it. But instead of going after Silverglade and kill him off, he actually just went after Parallel. These guys are definitely changing targets as they try to see an opportunity for that kill. Yeah, this is this is gonna go on for a little bit. Oh yeah. Especially with three competitors, one can actually step off and regenerate some focus. If you see them come out of combat, that's what they're trying to do. And I tell you, this is just what it's all about in this game. There's all sorts of things that people can do. You don't need to have dungeons in order to have a good time. It's all up to what the players can imagine and what they can dream up in this game. And this event is actually believe me, we dream up a lot. inside of a, a player-owned basement. So you can have your own PvP basement if you so desire. And Troy says, hi, lad. Now, would Troy like to come join us here live on the air? If you ever want to join us live on air, you can go to nbnn.info, look for the team ski. TeamSpeak button that is hosted by Bain Gaming and join us on the live on User air channel. channel. You were moved. We always forget to move to the live on air channel. It's always a simple fix though. Yes it is. So Distrafa and Parallel. Still slugging it out here. Yes, I think Parallel I think seems is... to have a bit of an edge right now, yeah. but uh, depending on the deal of the card, sometimes that can change very quickly, as you're seeing here. And a These guys are going back and forth. Always the Strafa might even be able to get a kill with the right spell right now. This is really is about mana management at this point. Now those numbers floating over their heads, if they are green, those are heals. If they are red, that is damage. And if it is yellow, it now is I a just critical. caught something on my screen. It looked like Silverblade or Glade was in the corner and it looked like he might be concealed hidden in the corner there. Might be just a little something. He's down in the far corner over here. I believe he died already. 
Maybe I was just seeing a shimmer of his ghost. And now the Strafa is back at full health. Parallels about down to about a third. And he's regenerating here. I think the Strafa might be able to pull this one out. Oops, I fell down. I need to get out of here. I did not mean to do that. I am on fire. I mean, these two are just diehards going at it here, I'll tell you. Yes. I have to run across and get out of here. Yeah, I just caught you there. Are you down there trying to get film of it from that level? No, I fell down. So that's what I did. Oh, okay. <laughs> yeah, that does occasionally happen to us. I did not see where turn was for that last little bit. And, it, and then Parallelogram seems to be the last man standing, although he's is taking damage still. Oh yes he is, but he is definitely the last man standing. So once, once, once they call epic, he says. <laughs> That's right. This is epic. Although I can barely see him down there, we'll have to let them know that they need to work on the lighting for this room. Yes, we will. I, I mean, he did put out some lanterns, but it wasn't enough. Now I'm getting a good shot of how healing and range spells work on the screen here, as. Uh, Looked like Silverglade was resurrecting. So now we have some fun with them. And Parallel won all three rounds. Congratulations to Parallel. <laughs> I see you're trying to stir it up. Yeah. Uh, yes, I am. I'm just poking fun at them. <laughs> it, the only problem is uh, I'm standing right next to everybody. <laughs> I know you are. I I'm on you, his think, side. I think you might win that, this one. Herbert says he can fix it. <laughs> yeah. And Toran says, I heard Lazarus came back from the dead. <laughs> we really do want to thank everybody that came out to uh, this Last Man Standing event, originally designed to be hosted by Bambino Ludovate, but he was unable to come, and it was taken over by Soul. Thank you to all of our participants, and thank you t for viewing this match. You're watching this live on yes. the New Britannia News Network with your anchor, Lazarus Long, and your on-the-field, in-the-field reporter, 
Cynicist. And we're going to sign out right after this. Uh, we'll be back for other events today. We do have some behind the scenes work we have to take care of. It's not all fun and games over here. Join us on nbnn.info, live in chat on our TeamSpeak. Uh, at, on Twitter, at NBN News. And Jack, you are on it on Twitter? Yes, I'm on Twitter as Twitch Cynicist. Twitch Cynicist. I'll let you say it. <laughs> it's okay. And this is both Cynicist and Lazarus signing off for now. We will be back later to report more events. Thank you.